guys. Chickity check, check. Microphone check, one, two, three. Is this thing running? Quick little video, guys. Uh, I am, oh my God, did I just call you guys? Oh, let's start that again. What's happening, guys? Oh shit, I did it again. Man, that is ingrained. I watched too many YouTube videos. What's happening, tribe? It's nice to see your beautiful face again. I just wanted to make you guys a quick little video. Uh, oh man, tomorrow is gonna be so epic. It's gonna be so fun. Uh, don't don't tell the Jackalson. I mean, he already knows tomorrow is his birthday, but uh, he thinks that just him and I are going for a little cruise, a little ride. And over the last seven days, I was able to put together a cruise. So we got about 10, eight to 10 guys that are going tomorrow. We've got Ed Lava, the Jordan, no wait, the Jordan Cody guy is not going, he just got surgery. We got Ed Lava, the Jackalson, Minute Walk. Minute Walk's actually heading to my house tonight. He's gonna crash over, because he lives far away, so he's gonna just crash in my extra bed. Uh, <laughs> Maybe he sleep in the same bed, we make the new baby. <laughs> but uh, Minute Walk, um, this guy Hudson, this other guy Steve, Ed's friends, uh, my recent friends as well. Um, this other guy Brandon, uh, this guy Ian, who's got a, I think he's got a Beta 350 or 300 or something. He's got a sick bike. He lives in Utah now. Oh, by the way, Mr. Duff Factor, remind me to link you up with him. Uh, great guy. Uh, Ian, he's like super cool and fun to be around. So I'll hook you guys up. I think he lives close to uh, to where you live as well. But anyways, yeah, so a bunch of guys tomorrow and I'm gonna go, my buddy Sterling, we're meeting at his house and the Jackalson lives like literally 30 seconds away. And uh, I'm gonna roll up to his house and be like, hey Jack, happy birthday, let's, let's go for a little cruise. And then I'm gonna be like, hey, we gotta, uh, do you mind if we stop at Sterling's real quick? I'm gonna grab a pump or I don't know, whatever. And just have a grip of lads there to ride. And then we're gonna go have a super awesome adventure and I'm gonna film it all for you. And that's kind of what this video is uh, about. Not really a life update, but a little bit of a, a kind of reminder. If any of you guys have just recently subscribed within the last, like, I don't know, year or two years, I haven't talked about it in a long time, but a lot of you guys know what the uh, initial intentions for this channel were. And in fact, why I named it Accidental Broadcast. And uh, maybe we start from the top. Let's start from like, actually post in the comments below too. You're like, what's your ultimate thing, you know? Uh, you know, in life we're, we're trying to, we're trying to sustain that feeling of happiness and contentment for as long as we possibly can. And that is the game. It's like, yeah, you might be happy on the weekends, but hate Monday. So the question is, how long can you like sustainably keep happiness going? Can you keep it going for like a month every day? You're just elated. Man, that would be amazing, right? So in my ultimate happiness, um, vision. Now this is like high end. I know this is not going to happen tomorrow, but ultimate happiness. I have a piece of property out here somewhere on Maui and it's got like container homes on it. And one of the containers is filled with bikes. You know, this is kind of like a money is no object thing or you know, if whatever happens enables me to do something like that. I've got a container full of bikes and like you guys come out to Maui, you get another container, whether they're set up like military style, where they're, you know, super comfortable with like memory foam mattresses and whatnot. But gosh, that would bring me so much joy. You know, if my week to week was like, hey, somebody's coming out that I've never met before and we're gonna go cruise around Maui. Maybe that can extend to other islands or uh, however that looks, but I know that a lot of people that have never been here, like you're just elated the entire time you're out here. I know what it feels like. It's like going somewhere completely new. 
and Maui just has a on, on top of everything Maui's just got really good vibes good energy so if you're open to it it will uh, it will deliver you those happy vibes. Hold on, I gotta wipe your face off here. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, that's better. It's starting to rain. Oh my gosh. So that's the ultimate high-end idea. Container homes on a piece of property, maybe two to five acres, and you guys are consistently coming out here. I know that's not gonna happen right away. So we move down to, we keep going down the tiers, but I think in between that happening and whatever else I'm working on in life, I have to fulfill and be pursuing what the reason I started this channel. And the reason I started this channel was to make my first movie. It's easy to go, well, just make it then, you know, it's, it's, uh, totally possible in 2019 the tools are amazing and while I do believe it can be made on a really skeleton budget it takes place from 1975 to 1985 so basically it's a period piece so it's gonna be challenging I think I could get away with a uh, I think I could get away with a short film and make it feel like it it took place somewhere in there and that's exactly what I'm gonna do but in the meantime uh, hold on one second I'm gonna gas up and then uh, I'll be back okay we're back we're gassed up uh, how's it okay where was I oh yeah happiness tears so uh, yeah that's the kind of the, the big that's the big reality goal for me that would be just freaking incredible so much joy so much happiness i love living vicariously through other people when they come to maui and uh you guys are gonna get to meet my girl pretty soon because she's actually moving out here in uh three days so you guys will get to meet her and and i'll she'll be in videos and stuff like that please be nice in the comments down below uh let's let the past be the past and not talk about exes Alright, all is good in the hood. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. So before that happens, like right now, writing. I've been thinking about this short film a lot. I have a bunch of scenes written already, but they're written in a format that's going to fit the, uh, the full kind of feature length, which I'd like to target at about 90 minutes. Um, so yeah, working on the short film, short, short form film. I'll probably shoot it on like the uh, Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera. I've been doing a lot of my researches lately and that thing's pretty awesome, pretty badass. I feel like that thing could handle the film festival circuit no problemo. Uh, I'll probably put together a budget to actually hire a proper audio guy, which is like one of the most important things in the world, etc, etc. In the meantime, there are some mini projects and mini potentials for you guys to be able to come here to Maui. So for the last two years, I've been like doing an Airbnb out of McKenna's bedroom in my house. And as of recently, I had to shut the Airbnb down. It sucks, but whatever. Um, but I wanna rip my garage down and turn it into like a little micro man cave tribe bedroom facilitation device and so I don't know I think if you guys for the for those of you that want to come out to Maui I think you'd be more than happy um, crashing in like a little jungle garage setup like don't don't get me wrong it'll be nice it'll be super comfortable and yada yada but I'm starting to formulate I'm starting to formulate some ideas um, in terms of like how I can make videos for my channel and and make it sustainable. So what I think I'm going to do is going back to that original idea, the channel was for the purpose of location scouting. I, for me, wanted to just go out and film with a helmet camera um, and film locations and then do little verbal notes. And I made that video, the first one, you guys saw it, I crashed, hurt myself, and all of a sudden a lot of people were like, cool, you hurt yourself, make more. 
so here we are years and years and years later and I still don't have a movie that I'm really passionate about creating under my belt and that is uh, somewhat upsetting to me so action will be taken on that and in the meantime I don't know I think it'd be cool to have some of you guys come out here and we figure out a way to make it work um, one thing I was thinking about doing is so changing the channel to say you know something close like what if the channel was called accidental broadcast productions or accidental media or, or something along those lines but the non-motorcycle videos would be uh hold on what's on is something's on your face the non-motorcycle videos would just be vlogs of uh me pursuing like jobs and gigs and media stuff out here all for the purpose of like raising money so I could put it towards this film and put it towards ripping the garage down and turning it into a little tribe cave and all of the other um, uh, resources that I would have to put together to make something like that happen like if you guys came out here obviously you'd need a bike so it would be cool to figure out how to get another bike that lives in the garage and when you guys come out even if it's one by one you got a bike to ride and like I'll ride some days I might not ride other days and but I'll give you all the local secrets and yeah, all the fun stuff to do hold on got your face your face again anyways those are the thoughts that are going through my head right now um, my girl is a professional men's hairstylist so she might be in pursuit of doing like a little mobile wicked little you know like a wicked little men's salon so a lot of exciting things I guess what I'm saying is I'm uh, really happy to be reconnecting with you guys and it's just so crazy how much time has gone by and uh, man like a lot of you guys are, have been like shit I was 13 and now I'm 21 or 22 or I got married now I have kids or when I watched you I lived in my parents basement now I got my own place and I'm about to have my first child like it's crazy to me and uh, yeah I just want to stay connected like I don't know I love the motorcycle community especially in 2019 with all the freaking crazy shit that's happening on the planet I swear I don't care what your views are I think the motorcycle community is like one of the last communities on the planet that actually does accept everyone you know like you can have differing views and just be like yo shit bro what do you ride and it's cool and everyone hangs out and has a good time and doesn't take life so seriously and gets so butthurt over every little thing so getting back into it makes me the happy guy all right guys anyways hope uh, this video didn't really bore you I know we weren't really doing anything super fun or whatever but I enjoy talking to you and I'll see you again soon well not tomorrow but shortly after tomorrow because tomorrow I'm gonna shoot the most epic video ever catch you on the flip side <laughs>